I think I'll start. So what I will try to do is share my browser. Will this work? Should not share my browser, share my window. That's very small for me. Uh, is that, you can see my JASM, yes? Uh, what, uh, anyway, yeah. right, you know. Yes. Okay. Cool. Right. So uh, I have um, now we are. You, I'm sure you've all seen the the tasking manager for the buildings. Uh, it's uh, yes, and um, I have been working through Dunleary Vast Town, South County Dublin, because I'm from that area. So I thought I would do that. But I believe. Uh, our glorious overlord, Kiran, had suggested a um, more focused thing and that today maybe might be Cork, I think. Um, so I could demo what I'm talking about in Cork. Uh, yes, Cork. Well, that's that's like, you know, yes, Cork. Of course, Cork. Why not Cork? Uh, let me try to pull that one up. Which task is that? Uh, Cork City, is it? Or um, there's... What's Cork? Yes. Um, uh, there's um, there's one for West Cork and then Cork City. Oh yeah, cities. They're they're not hard to do at all. Uh, okay, so well, uh, we'll just throw the old link into the chat. So what I'm gonna do, I will randomly pick a task at. Well, so I have I've kind of a five point thing of things that I um my my top tips, my my top five tips. I have uh, just gone to the task manager and selected one at random. Let's go to that. Start mapping. Uh, I presume you know this already. And I've just gone to JASM and I've clicked to uh, to open it in JASM. Now this is the um, I mean a lot of you here have, have been um, using OSM for a while. So I'm sure you know the basics of JASM, and uh, that was the remote control plugin. Now uh, the imagery. This is kind of comes on to the first point. Um, my first. Well, okay. So I'm going from five, four, three, two, one. Um, uh, you know, get your imagery right. Um, I, the Esri imagery I find is very nice. Oh, we have a suburban area. Okay. There's, there's broadly three kinds, as I'm sure you, you all know from, uh, of, of kind of building map you can be doing sort of like dense urban or suburban like this, or like rural. And then, you know, rural would be just go somewhere and, you know, ah, you know what I mean? Um, where you've far bands in the middle of nowhere or not nowhere, but you know, anyway, that can be easier. And here we have suburban, uh, stuff. Now the first one is uh, check. Okay, so we have imagery, and the, what I'm going to bring up as well, you have to check the age of the imagery. Uh, we have. I'm. I'm just going to load the Esri World imagery because there is some. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Hmm, okay. Uh, so to the right here, uh, I had a green area, and I thought this might have new housing construction in it. And I do know from experience that the Esri World imagery, this one, is newer than the um, the Esri Clarity imagery, but it doesn't look as nice. Uh, you can tell it's. You can see it's not quite as clear. Tip for you now, if you use the back tick button, which is the uh, one that's to the left of the one, you it flips between uh, the imagery that, that's visible. You can see that here. Um, so that's a handy way to just kind of flick back and forth. And if you have uh, several of them, it'll just, just, just flick through several of them, um, rotate through them. So that's a, that's a handy way to, to move around, uh, to, to, to uh, switch between imagery. Um, the other thing I'm looking at here now is the alignment of the aerial imagery. and so firstly, both of these to each other, the Esri World, uh, Clarity and the Esri World, are uh, basically seem to line up pretty well. In Dublin, Dunedin, right down, the Esri World uh, is uh, is actually offset from, from the other ones. Oh, and then that's the Bing is is slightly different from, uh, but it's the same. So we're, we're getting nothing new there. So we'll get rid of Bing. So first first one is check the your imagery is aligned. Uh, well, uh, 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 so aligned. Okay, so I'm I'm looking at the roads here, and uh, I can see that like this is a road, and that's sort. I mean, you know all this. This seems to be pretty well aligned to uh, uh, to 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 the the imagery seems to to be good aligned to be aligned to uh, to things. Um, if you yeah, you can you can if you don't know if you right click on it you can get new offset, and then you can actually just drag. The imagery and uh, now you can't actually see because I'm sharing the window. There is in the middle here a little pop up window that has a dynamically updated uh, um, display of what I'm aligning. Oh, I've got NOS now, which is which. So if I was to click OK, that would then save that alignment as an imagery. Um, so you can sort of dynamically 
can, can I cancel that? You can dynamically uh, adjust the offset. So check your imagery. If I put that to zero, oh fart! It's I've messed it up now. Hang on. Uh, I'll just remove it and start again. Ah, it saved it. New offset. Zero zero. Bang. Okay, that's uh, I've reset that. Right. Um, get imagery. Check that it is o. Oh, uh, it, it's handy to check if there's newer imagery, like even if you had um, the Esri world and if it wasn't very clear, you can you can tell if it's newer. In my experience, this is newer because then you can see like if there's houses here and that means when I got to do this bit, I might have to look at uh, other, uh, look at the other imagery. So you can, you can mix and match your imagery. All right, that's step one. Step two, um, this is... Step two is uh, this is this is kind of the basics of what I'm mentioning, as I'm sure you all know. Just map to the building footprint. Now, it, the as so not the roof of the building, but the the actual uh, where the building touches the ground is as you see. Why am I telling all you people this? You know all this. Um, I'm trying to see an example. Okay, so here you can see that the the Esri world imagery is relatively um, vertical because you can't see the walls of the building, but uh, here you can see. Um, like right here, you can see the. Uh, I, I, you can't see my mouse. Um, you can see the, the 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 walls of the building. So that if you were to map this, as you know, uh, like this, you really should be. Oops. You really should be. Well, that actually lines up to the the S3 imagery. But if it was offset a bit, I don't know. You know what it is. Map map it where the building uh, touches the ground. That is number two. Um, yes. Now. Oh, right. Uh, yes. As okay. So uh, number two. Yeah, the, the imagery can be. Oh, by the way, if you press Tab, you can get rid of the um, the thing on the right. Um, so that can be handy if you actually want more uh, more space. Um, that's what I'm doing there. Um, it, it depends if you're a righty or a lefty. I use a a big fancy right hand. Well. God, this is all backwards. Uh, ergonomic mouse on the right hand, but I also use the mouse with the left hand as well. A lot of JOSM, it's you've got your left hand on the keyboard here, and there's lots of stuff there, and then you've got your you know all this anyway. Um, right, number three. Uh, upload early and upload often is my other tip. In the event that uh, JOSM crashes, which rarely but can happen, it is handy if you have uploaded everything and then you don't lose your work. Uh, what you can do is you can have an open change set and you can just uh, upload new things as they're going along. Um, and um, so that it's kind of intermediately saving things. Um, and that's fine. Uh, when, when you do, when you do a, I see, I have to, before I, before I do an upload, I'll have to, ah, it won't show, I know what I'll do. I'll share my entire screen, whoops because that will be entire screen. Then you'll probably be able to see everything and you'll get a bit of meta going on right now. Ah, All right, we'll just go at that and I hope, yeah. Um, actually, let's see if, if, if I do, uh, like, whoops. I should do like a download, can you see that? Yes, you can, excellent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, when you, if you were to upload something, uh, let's say I make this building here, um, and I press uh, Control Shift up. Okay, untag place. Yes, yes, yes. Let's make that a building. Building. Yes. Um, Control Shift up. Uh, you can see there's the chain sets here, and you can tag that off. Close chain set for plot. It's just more of a doesn't really matter too much. But then you when you upload something, it will be uh, you'll notice here left open. The chain set will be left. What can you see my mouse? No, you can't, can you? Mouse pointer. Oops. Uh, anyway. Um, but you can also see, hey, if I put this here, it won't cover it. Um, yeah, JOSM has a new thing where it gets the source from the aerial imagery. That's a nice new feature. Um, right, that is for three. Yes, the other thing I like to do, my tip, is uh, I split tasks aggressively um if you go if you see so this this is um 
Mm, wait, four, which is it? Nope, oh, that's still Kenny. Uh, this is done here, done. Let's see if I shrink this, it'll go away, yes. Um, I, I don't think you'd be able to see that. You might be able to. Uh, tiny windows. Uh, uh, I, I just spit tasks like there's no tomorrow. If there's if there's something that's too big, I just I just spit it. Like if you turn on imagery here, uh, yeah, these are these are small. I just because I see I see a thing with like fifty buildings. I'm like, no, I'm out of that. Spit that. Spit that bad boy. Um, so just spit early, spit often. I find that is a very helpful uh, um, thing for me because of how I like to um, to just break things up into more manageable chunks. Um, uh, it, it, the task seems less overwhelming if you are spitting it. Uh, that's just me. Um, Sean, there's a little question there. Now, why wouldn't you spit tasks? I don't know. But some people are wrong. I mean, some people like pineapple on pizza. You know, there's, the world is full of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> did I see some? Did I see some comment about some people thought it was messing up metrics or something like that? It actually, actually, for the task manager, does um, the percentage of the, of the county complete? You know, on, on the, the the screen that has the list of the tasks, and it says you know twenty five percent complete for the learning right down or whatever. Mm. I wonder is that percentage just an analysis of the number of squares rather than the area of the squares I kind of do you know what i'm saying yeah and i think you might be right um so i did a, a thing that that sort of tried to to, to based on what we did in town lands of like okay based on how many we've done in the last week uh what speed are we going at and that i took the easy way out and just used the the raw task count so you, you know spitting it would would mess it up because i was looking at the api for the task manager and it's kind of horrible it's horrible for me as a programmer because they it it's they're like, oh, we've an API, and it's it's really just heavily tied to just displaying what they're currently doing. Um, yeah. so there isn't an easy way around that. But yeah. Um, yeah. if I agree with you, yeah, just just split away. I mm. hell with the metric, the hell with the metrics. You might frustrate yourself if you think you uh, you're about to get twenty five percent of the city complete, and then just split a load of things, and then your your percentage lowers. But you'll get over yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, as as I said on Twitter, you know, there's a there's a quote from uh, the Bible about you know the 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 tasking manager was made for man, not man for the tasking manager. Okay, so that wasn't actually what Jesus said in the Gospel of Mark, but it's close. Um, but that's my philosophy. It's like yeah, what a, the whole point of OSM is, is mappers to do things. So whatever you want. Um, okay, and here's Kieran is here now. Um, yeah, I have, um, that's my my number three tip, is upload often and split often. So, uh, the, the, so the biggie, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you sort of um, know this already. Um, my, uh, hang on, wait, I have more than five. What the hell did I write down? I wrote, I wrote two copies of the same thing. Oh, that's good enough. No, sorry, that was number four. Right, number three. Well, so the main thing, obviously, that I use is the building tools plugin. When it comes to JOSM uh, and you're doing buildings, the building tools plugin is the bee's knees. Uh, you all know that already, I'm sure. So let's give some examples. Um, let's start here. If, and we'll actually get, we'll start over here. Um, no, start with is, uh, I'll start over here. Uh, oh, no, I kind of I want just a simple example. Oh, the hell with it. We'll just start over here. Um, so this is a semi-detached house, as you can see. Now, Kieran made a very good point that you can often count the chimneys uh, to tell which is here. That was probably a chimney um, to tell where they are. And but I also like to look at the buildings, the 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 the, the garden walls. So you'll notice I've got my JOSM, uh, my um, when I make a building, it doesn't come up as anything because uh, by default it does set the it does set the um, building equals yes, I think, tag. But you can change that in the preferences. And if you go building tools, build, build building. Uh, building tools tags, yes, there we go. I've set that to, to nothing. By default, it's like um, 
um, building crews, yes. But so if you were doing uh, tennis courts, you can do that. Um, now, I might. So when you have a building, uh, you can also configure it's in. Uh, I installed that Facebook shit map with AI. And you got rid of that. Um, the set building size as the very. <laughs> this got me once. I, I made my building size thing to be a circle. And so when, like, I, I would go like this. I, oh, no. Yeah, it, it's basically very easy to, to, to appear. Yeah, you see, that's what happened to me. And I was just confused for like two months. Um, you can change the. Uh, Auto select building. When you create a building like this, it's a rectangle. That would have been handy in the Stone Age. Well, what you can do is if you if you make three points in a circle, in a triangle, and then press Shift O, it makes a circle, and that's helpful because then, like, if you if you have a very tiny one here, you just need to do three points because that defines a circle, and bang, there you go. So um, that is still useful. I use that for Mac doing ring forts. Yeah, um, no. Go on. No, I agree with you. It would be handy for, for Stone Age stuff. But there's a couple of stables around Kildare that are in circles for some reason. So yeah, that's, I've never seen that before. Cool. Yeah, no, it's, um, I, th I think that was using the Soto lock because I have uh, round dots. Um, so building tools, the next, uh, so the, the obviously the basics of it, you click a, Click on one edge, click the other edge, and drag and move it over. Hey, building, as you know. And I've selected the last building selected uh, to be selected. I've, I've set it so that when I have the last building, it will um, have that selected. And when you have a building selected, it will draw perpendicularly the next one. So uh, yeah, that lets you easily do many when they are all like this in a housing state where they're all lined up. Um, what that also works with is uh, any linear feature. So if I have the road here, let's see, this won't be a great example. This might be actually. And I can uh, make a building, I press B. Oh no, it's not doing it this time. Okay, maybe this road is too complicated. Uh, let's do this road. Oh no, let's do this road. And if I have B and it's selected, you'll notice it is uh, even aligning up against that. So that can be uh, helpful to get buildings if you are sure they are at right angles from the road you make. Um, if you don't like the, I mean now this is the, the auto select building option here, if I turn that off, and then when I make a building, it will not automatically select it. Except it has there now. Wait, why has it done that? Um, Okay, what you can do is you can press Shift Alt Z will select the last way you created. Now I have a feeling this might be in the util plugin wise. I've just got like building tools and like util plugins too, which has like everything else. So if you um, have made something and then you're doing something else and you want to select that again, Alt Shift Z gets you the previous building. Wait, Alt Shift Z B to make building. And there you go. And I can all shift Z. Oh, it's except for the one you just made. Oh, okay. Hmm. Anyway, that's useful. One. So that is my two, um, my main ways of doing the building tools plugin is to have, well, so both the, the basic way to do it. And then, um, you know, have, uh, when you have a, a, a region like this, which is a housing estate, just put, um, use the, um, Select the last building, which either can be done with the auto select, which I don't really like. I prefer the um, the Alt Shift Z. Select last way, last created way. Oh man, it's selected, unselected. Oh no, it's come back to this. Um, and then then you can draw at a right angles, uh, and you can also do that based on the actual road itself. Uh, any linear feature, so like a road, it can be done like that. Um, but the other big one to use, the main one, I'm going to get rid of all the ones I just added. Are all, uh, Angel asks, are all buildings created this way? It depends. Um, 
so it's manual because I'm talking a lot. The biggie that's very useful is uh, the extrude plugin. Uh, well, is it a plugin? I think it's actually part of JOSM now. Anyway, you press X. So let's uh, give you an example. I will make start up here. And I'm going to draw half a house. So uh, if I press X, uh, I don't know if you can see, but my mouse cursor turns into a. Um, well, it's, it's like an arrow with a little protractor thing on it. Uh, you can drag one part of a way, and it will just, uh, you can just um, move it. Um, what you can do, so if I put this back in the middle, if you press Alt, it, um, if I hold down Alt, it will create a new uh, way in OSM that is connected and extruded on it that way. So that is very useful for making... Um, semi D's or uh, any urban building. So press X, Alt, drag, uh, B, make a new building, X, Alt, drag, B, make a new building, X, Alt, drag. This is also where we get interesting because if I flip through, you can see this house here, well, this one has a, um, get rid of this. It has a, why is my phone beeping? Ah, oh, hey, hey, metal picture. Um, the extrude tool has the handy option of um, if you have a way selected and you double click on the way, it w on a line, well, a, a part of the way, it will create a new node, which is what it has just done, which I can then click and drag outward. So I can just double click and drag that out. Um, can you say that again, please? You, what you do, so. Uh, we'll, we'll do an example here. I'm pretty sure this, uh, yeah, this, this house also has a, a bit to the side. Um, so I'm in building tools mode because my mouse cursor looks like a, a little building. I press X, I go into extrude mode. And then if I double click on a line, it has created a new node where I clicked. And I can then click and drag that bit out this way. And if I, can read my image correctly i think this goes up like this Excellent. so and then i can alt drag this one out and let's just make another bit like this x drag and this person has a little bit of a porch so we'll just do that now i am actually i should be putting these whoops more on the edge like that um this can so it has to be the the, the building you create like you've to select away and we've got X and um, edit the shared boundary line. Um, I'll get to that. But what you can do is like double click, alt, drag a new note way here. And we'll just go like that. And does this person have something in the back? They do. You see, if I can see in the other MG, there is um, clearly something going on here in the middle. So I'll just click and drag like that outwards. Um, is there, uh, I can asks, is there an easy way to edit the shared boundary line? What you can do with the extrude plugin is, uh, let's see if I get this wrong. If I've selected the way here, because I'm in S mode, so I've selected this, and I go back to extrude mode with X and I hold control, I can drag uh, the middle bit if I haven't got it um, aligned properly, and this will. So you can see when I when I click and drag, there is a yellowed dotted line and it's, so it's perpendicular to this and I can just uh, I can drag this any which way I want um, that's one way to do it or the other way of course is if you use W you can do improve way accuracy and that lets you do nuts things uh, which that's that's useful if you have I don't know if we have an example of like someone has a round conservatory uh, most of the buildings here seem to be relatively square but no, they're all square. But but you could easily have a case if someone had um, a conservatory. You could press W and then pressing. Um, you can you see the the, the the node it's going to grab and moved. Uh, and you can press Control and I could just add a little. Oh, actually, how well you can see that? Wow, I'm sharing my screen. I should make this big. All right. Uh, so you could make a little round. Uh, oops, thing. If you had a conservatory. But we'll get rid of that. Um, I better hide on my my weird my weird telegram chats and then you'll see all the weird shit I do online which is not weird it's all open street map um 
the questions in the chat. Should should that be two semi-detached or two houses? Which which are you talking about there? Yeah, I suppose it applies to any of them. And ah, think, you'd like the yeah. tags. Yeah. So this, I think, came up before. So the default one people tend to use is uh, building equals yes, right? I think. But it, uh, and I actually did some statistics, and about half of the buildings in Ireland are building equals yes. And that's not great. What's better is if you have a building equals something else. I tend to just go with building equals house because my logic is, is if you're a data consumer, if you have these two these two buildings here, um, they are by definition a semi-detached house because you have two, um, if, you, if you have them tagged as building equals house and you have, um, and they've got a shared wall between them, a data consumer can know that that's a semi-detached house. Uh, likewise then, if you had a, a terraced house. So like I, what, what I was wondering about is if you had like a, a, a building and it said like semi-detached house, I'm not sure how you, you add that. Is that semi, that's even not in a, that's not even in a preset. Um, you know, how, how would a data consumer, how are they supposed to interpret like a, a, a standalone how, building like that, that is, um, I think it's building equals semi-detached or maybe it's building equals house, house equals semi-detached. Yeah, I, I think that's that's kind of, uh, the computer nerd in me doesn't like the naming scheme for that. Um, data consumer is someone who consumes OpenStreetMap data. Um, so OpenStreetMap data goes in and data goes out. Uh, you write data, this is what we do when we map it, but you also use data. People use uh, data. Uh, they consume it. Uh, this is the map rendering software, uh, any map rendering software, geocoding software, um, or uh, like a routing software, or if you wanted to do um, building analysis stuff. Hot really likes their building scribbling things because they say it helps with population analysis. If you know how many buildings there are, you can get a rough idea of how many people live in a place. Um, so that's a data consumer, uh, someone who consumes data versus a contributor. Uh, viewer or someone who uses the backend data. Oh, yeah, backend data, I mean, just the, the data, it's the stuff you download, as Todd asks on the chat. Um, yeah, it's too bad. There's, there's, there's not a lot of data consumers, people doing really fancy things. And OSM data is such a mess, <laughs> you know, it's so fiddly and there's so many exceptions and this country uses this less often. So um, don't get terribly worried about it. Um, anything going on in the chat? Oh no, why am I opening up the chat that you can see all the private chats? <laughs> um, yeah, so what I like to do when I've, I've made these buildings, they're all untagged. That would be bad. You notice the validator complains to me. Um, if I'm selecting them all, a handy, okay, what you can do as well with alt. So up here, you can see my validator is layer four, OSM data is layer three. Uh, with the alt and the numbers, you can turn on and off. Uh, so for example, alt four, I can turn off. You notice this, the, um, up at the top right of the screen is the, yeah, you can't see my mouse button, can you? No, so you can't actually see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> um, the 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 eye to turn on and off a layer, and you can also use the, the alt and then that number, so you can go alt four if you want to turn on and off that. Uh, alt three, that can be handled, turn on and off the awesome data. Uh, if you need to have a look around. Oh, it's all very hilly. Um, so if I want to turn off the validator, I can do validation errors, I can do that with alt four. Um, when I see all these things, if you've selected a, a way, if you press the I key, it will select all intersecting ways, um, in which case that's just this. But for example, if I select this and I press I, it has selected the next one along. And if I press I again, it expands that out. That is helpful if you have um, many, uh, many, um, if, if you make like a terrace and you want to select them all, you just go, hey, hey, hey. Um, the other thing when I'm cleaning these up, uh, I like to, there's a, at the bottom right, I have a filters, a few filters on for things. Uh, I have one that's type equals node. Uh, so I press that and all the nodes are hidden. And that is helpful to actually select quickly all the things, uh, if I want to do that. Uh, and then I press Alt, Alt A, bring up the thingy, add tag, and I go house. And that's fine. 
uh, and now I have my houses. Uh, look at the tags link in the chat. That's the global global thing. Yeah, you can probably blame Hot for most now. Um, but yeah, most of them are, are building equals thing building equals house. But there's loads of um, residential. There's a few sort of overlaps. Commercial school garages. Not garages. Um, so that would be how I would map. That's oh, you see now. The pedantic in me sees that that is slightly offset. If I select this and I press S and I press Control Shift, I can rotate. So I can just—it's probably not like I could—I could really rotate it if I want to line it up uh, properly. But we'll just put out this person's side and we'll do this. This looks like two houses. Uh, that's again I Shift Control Shift Rotate Move it in. Uh, next, so I'm just going to go through. Oh yes, okay. And so that is the extrude tool, and that's the my which one of my notes. Are? That's my main tips. Um, that will not. So the extrude tool was number two. Um, so just generally using the building tools is number three. But I mean that's like the basics of building mapping. Number two is the extrude tools, and my number one tip is. I don't know if I can get it to come up. A new layer, no. I tell you what I'll have to do is I'll have to create a new JOSM. Give me a moment. Just while that's loading up, uh, do people add in sheds? Is yes. Map everything. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, get rid of the menu. The... My number one tip is it's one of the golden rules of OSM is to have fun. Um, don't copy with the maps, but then also have fun because, you know, I like OpenStreetMap. I like mapping. It's fun. There's coloring books for adults. This is like what we can do, but, you know, you're actually helping the world. But, you know, I, I think it is important that this isn't a job. Like I said with them, um, well, some people are paid to map. Um, not me. Um, you know, when I said like splitting the tasks and stuff, you know, it, it's 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 about people. OpenStreetMap is a project of human beings mapping things, um, and that's you know that's that's important to keep that in mind. That that we should have fun, and to expand on that, as well as having fun, it also means to you know enjoy yourself, enjoy what 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 we're doing, what what you're doing, because like OpenStreetMap is a is a global database. But it's a shared commons. It's uh, it's owned by everyone. The, the all the data we're creating, the map we're creating, is owned by everybody. All of us, me and you, and everything like that. And I think you should have a sense of pride in 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 your work and when you make something. And uh, you know, which is partially like having fun. You know, you, you should you should do it because you want to do it. And well, I mean, you could do it if you get paid, or you could just do it because I don't know, whatever. But like, I, 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 I do it because I like doing it because I, I want to have this kind of thing in the world, a, a free map that's owned by everybody. That's, you know, and that was the whole point of when OpenStreetMap was founded is is to have, you know, it's like, well, screw you, I'll make my own map. But the, the, to to quote that joke, like the the point is that we're making our own map. It, it is ours. It belongs to all of us. So you should have, you should feel pride in what you do and and then but then also like you know don't poop on the map you know so don't don't mess up everyone else's work when someone else is involved in the map you know talk to them and and and, and just get everything like you know don't fight people uh, play play nice with each other um it's a community of people building a, a a map and we do all own it and we should like it and you know so that's that's my number one top tip is make sure you're doing this you know for fun or at least try to see the enjoyment of it try try to get something from it because it's the only way we're going to map the entire world which is an insane prospect you know, let's map the entire world ourselves it, every building in humanity we want to map every road in the world we want to 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 store somewhere i mean it just Sounds completely impossible, but if you're having fun, you know we'll get there. There was a there was a quote from I think Sodom in 2012 was in Tokyo, and they, uh, they there was a famous Japanese philosopher, um, 
Japanese cartographer, apparently uh, well known in Japan several hundred years ago, mapped Japan, it was the first map of Japan, I think, or something like that. And so they, they quite like this guy, and it was kind of a, a the, there was a, a thing. And, and so they had a slogan from him that was something like, just keep walking, persistence pays off, because this guy walked around Japan for a long time and, and was able to map the world. So that's the way to view OpenStreetMap, you know, just just keep walking and persistence will pay off. If we just, just keep plodding along, we will eventually get there. This is why I like splitting tasks. And this is why the tasking manager is a useful tool, because we can just, you know, one little step at a time and we will eventually get there. Um, so that's my top tip. Just just have fun. And, you know, in this uh, world where we are facing the, just, you know, a, a weird new normal with a, a global pandemic, which we haven't had for 100 years, um, it, 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 we can stay in stay at home and map and we can have fun at home and that's um that's great but then sometimes if you know you think what the fuck am i doing this we could all be dead soon uh from a pandemic so i'm not going to map that's fine too you know just have fun um that's my top tip number one open stream map tip is to have fun and and do what do map what you want if you if you think like buildings i have no interest in buildings the hell with buildings then don't map buildings you know do what what you want that you find um is fun for you um yeah so that's that's my top five tips check check the rim is good the age of it and the offset and align it properly um oh yeah like i mean you know partially kind of you know up, upload early and often because again if you lose your work you're going to be pretty annoyed um feel free to split early split tasks go nuts um yeah the building tools plugin is awesome and uh, sort of the, the basics of, of the um, thing uh, of, of, of get you the next level of building mapping instead of just using ID. Uh, the extrude tool is uh, also the next step up from the building levels, uh, building tools. And um, and yeah, and then just have fun. So that's my um, that's my top tips for mapping in OpenStreetMap, uh, especially with the buildings. Um, let me check the chat. Is there anything interesting going on there? Do you have fun is number one? Yeah, number one fun. Um, do you have any questions? Do you want me to go over anything again? Do you want me to show you anything again? Do you have so, any? I do have one question. Mm -hmm. So one of my things, so you, you, you mentioned about uh, the billing tool and having it aligned to the road and then it'll keep drawing in the same way. So one of the things uh, which I find is that I'll be drawing a number of houses and then it'll I'll kind of draw a line along the edge of a building and then sometimes it'll do that and sometimes it'll just change and it'll draw from edge or from kind of corner to corner and not from, from, from edge to edge. And it seems to kind of swap between those and I have to press the escape key to kind of do like a reset so i'm not sure uh, what i'm doing wrong there um or, i think that, i think i've noticed that I, I think that's just sometimes the big building tools just gets a bit buggy um or sort of has selected the wrong thing um it, it, it reminds me i don't know if it's the same thing but if you have a building selected and then you press b to start a new building as you were saying it uh, it aligns with the previous one but if you don't it doesn't. It's not that behavior, is it? So I do, so I don't really don't have. Um, so I didn't really notice if the previous building was selected or not when I went on to the next one. So I'll have to watch out for that because it could be yeah, maybe it's copying the previous building's direction. Um, yeah, it, it does do that, yeah. Like if you notice here, so I have a red one building selected, and if I press B and draw, I press one click, and then I move, and I'm not clicking now, and and this will then just go here. So normally you need three clicks for a building because, um, yeah. But with this way, you only need two, and uh, this is an intentional feature of the building tools plugin. Um, so if you're noticing that, which I think, um, uh, oh goodbye, Andrew, oh he's gone, um. Uh, yeah, it, it does do that intentionally, um, but sometimes what can happen is it, it can get like you can you can try to make it want to do that. Oh, what a person. but it um, uh, it, it can get sort of stuck, and you you need to press escape. Um, 
this is why the the auto select the previously added building thing this is why i don't like having that on um because then you you get that all the time um and yeah so it, it's hard to know really what you're so it's a way to turn that off as a feature uh i don't know let's have a look building size uh, oh and now i have that selected i don't want that selected mm, i have a Feeling it's not, but since you can just press escape, so if you see here, I have this building selected in red. If I press escape, it uh, uh, is unselected. So I, I essentially can turn it off by uh, by just pressing escape. <laughs> um, so I think that's kind of how you do it. I, okay. I think. It, okay. So I'll, I'll have to exp experiment with that. Yeah. yeah. And and do you have a file with shortcuts that you keep handy? Uh, muscle memory. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't. Um, JOSM, like a lot of open source software, is not designed well. It's 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 a hodgepodge of oh, things all together. That's. Um, yeah, it's 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 not kind of consistent, and you know, you just kind of learn <laughs> uh, learn learn the ones that you sort of use, uh, and you'll always be discovering new things. Um, but yeah, no, there was, I believe, it was on Reddit. Uh, someone, oh, man, make sure I'm not looking at <laughs> porn dot com. <laughs> uh, some someone made like a periodic table of JOSM shortcuts. Uh, oops, oops. Jasm. No. Uh, so there is not create post search. Jasm. Um, there is a. Uh, oh, it was about a year ago. Someone made like a. Oh, I don't know. There, there is like a. I think you can print out then, which has um, shared. Shared notes, shared, shared, has plugin, has shortcuts. And because it's got a keyboard and it'll be like, this is that. Rory, I have to dig that uh, up. Rory, that's called the Jossum Cheat Sheet and it's designed by Croatian Mapper. I think his name is Zorin. I'm just Googling it now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there it is. And it shows you the particular tools, the particular uh, keys on the keyboard. Um, it's a nice thing. Will I put the link here in the, in the group. I just found it oh, there. Right. It's on the Wikimedia, on the uh, OSM Wiki, so you can find it there. Um, you just get the link. I'll put that in there. Um, I was in late, and I'm sorry I was in late. Uh, I missed your number three, four, and five, or I got the end of your number three, four, and five, so I've written them on the shared notes. So yeah. whoever else was listening, maybe they should... Uh, I'll put them in. Is building yeah. tools, and you will see my computer is telling me that I have been typing too long, and I should take a typing break because I have often RSI, which is why uh, early and often split a task quickly early. Often, and number five was uh, use imagery properly. Offset age uh, align. Wait, align is offset. Ooh. Oh, that that was it. That was my my several. Uh, ah, there we go. Yes, Jason, basic editing. Mm -hmm. uh, oh well, that's just the general. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yes, yes, that's the keyboard shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Florin, <laughs> sorry, Florin. Sorry, Zorin is a guy in the James Bond movie. I'm sorry. Yeah, my memory's all over the place. There is a there is a Surin involved with the Telegram stuff. Oh, by the way, you know, um, for the Telegram, what's the Marlin Telegram thing? There's a there's an anti spam thing that asks them to do a number. Yeah. And th there's a bot on it, which which I, I was confused by why I knew all these new people were typing in random numbers. There is a new thing by the in the last few days among all the admins of various OpenStreetMap Telegram chats. 
uh, namely to sort of have a shared block list or like there's a like so if so if, if a spammer joins one um area, uh, group uh, that they can be banned from all osm telegram chats um and that is actually done by a guy from north germany uh soren um so what you we could do kieran is uh so i've joined that group chat thing because i mod to um telegram three telegram uh osm things and we could add that bot to bot, yeah. the uh the thing and then if somebody whoops if somebody is a spammer in one osm telegram channel they could be banned by the others uh so i thought of that because the guy who did it is called soren uh so if you'd like we could set that up okay can i say something here to to just get uh, a bit of reflection on tagging there's no absolutely right way of tagging um well there, sorry there is a if you can go to every detail and you know mark a building and mark all of its uh, details and attributes and height and address and everything that's great but in a task that's going to work across scale like our buildings ireland uh effort we're sacrificing some of that in the knowledge that we have a framework to come back in and know things that we can populate later and who knows how you know maybe some more open data might come available or if addressing gets better um we might be able to do some of that stuff quicker in future years but if you look at the tag info link that I sent out there, um, Rory uh, is quite right. Like the hot projects have made for 82% of the uh, building tags being building yes, with, with really nothing else on them, um, or generally with nothing else on them. Then 10% are building house. And if you look at a map of building house, I think if you click on the house link in, in the URL that I sent, you'll see that it's kind of developed countries have gone on to use house mm. uh, res residential. I think there's a link somewhere you can look on it on a on a map, or there's a tab to see it on a map. There's a map. I think you should be able to see it on my screen there. Um, I mean, building house seems relatively all over the place as well. Slight differences, but just a general. Yeah, yeah. Uh... yeah, yeah. So then. Um, Residential is used, if you read the definition of residential, residential is used where it's a building of the combination of houses, or you can't really determine where um, the divisions are in the buildings, right? So you use residential there. And then apartments is used when it's specifically that type of building. Um, that is an apartment. So residential might be something like um, old folks housing or townhouses or different things like that. Whereas apartments can be used when it's taller, um, denser um, uh, buildings of that type. So this each of those things is very handy because there's a good description on it on the link. So um, yeah, and then shed is important. I think. Um, um, John asked if shed was important. We should really do shed, but it, I suppose there's also things in the backs of people's houses, which are, uh, didn't we find one the other day, Rory, when we were mapping a den or a... Oh, yeah, it's, probably. It's the same width as the house, and it could it could be used even as a granny flat, or it could be an apartment set away from the house, and there's a lot of those knocking around in the towns around Ireland, we're discovering them, so. Hmm. I, yeah, I've been calling those buildings equal, yes, if I, if it's not obvious that, it, like if it could yeah. be a- It's not a wrong. Combination. That's what I do, I do that as well. Uh, just for, uh, for main streets of a village where you might have shops downstairs and accommodation upstairs, building equals yes for those, or? If you don't know, if you don't know any other detail, building yes will have to do, but if you had a mapillary image, there is a way to do that. No, um, but if I if I know it is shop downstairs yeah. and a, f apartments upstairs. Okay, so then I think the residential tag is used. I'm trying to remember what um, yeah. our last convert. We had a conversation at a meet about this. Um, 
Yeah. I looked that up for you, John, and we. Ah, uh, no, no worries. Yeah. From what I remember, there's no way to tag a building as both commercial and residential at the same time. Yeah. Apparently, something was proposed based on New York having similar kinds of layouts. So you kind of put like a dot for the house name or, or a dot for the flat name and a dot for the shop name as a way to indicate two things on the same mm. physical um, yeah. land use. I think is the current, yeah. you know. Then maybe a building equals yes. Yeah, for Lots the, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I use building equals yes, and and what you've described there. Remember, technically, the building tag is supposed to be what it was constructed as. So you can have, if you have like a church that is now a pub, you're supposed to go building equals church, amenity equals pub, and you can also have like building equals church, place of worship, like uh, like uh, the religion Islam, you know. So if it gets converted, or, or the religion is equal to alcohol or whatever well no you wouldn't say that because that isn't an actual religion um uh, but it but but yeah but I, I think what what karen kind of touched on is like yeah scale kind of so to speak is 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 important you know i i think he sort of briefly mentioned this it's not wrong and an open street map can never be finished we can never finish because okay firstly the world keeps changing we keep building new people keep building new buildings oh man you know they, they're making new roads the, the shock of them but also we keep as a community and a project coming up with, with more details. Something that was building was yes. And then we go, oh, wait, no, we should have like Lingo's house or this or that. And then we're like, okay, cool. But then how many levels are there? And then, and then what color is it? And what color is the roof? And even the roof shape. In France, they did um, a, a project to, to do the roof orientation of like, you know, does, you know, does it go this way or that way? Which you think sounds really silly until it turns out that's very useful for uh, planning solar panels because if your if your roof slopes so that you know you know you've got a side of the roof that points south in France and Ireland, you're going to get good solar panel usage and and that's only what you can get when you get the roof shape and and you know you can just you could just you'll, we we as a project will always have more things to do so don't add wrong data but it's okay to add something that's not wrong it it doesn't have to be 100 percent because it'll never be 100 percent so just Building because yes is, is fine. It's helpful if you can add more. Um, like like we probably use there's probably too many building equals yeses in Ireland. Um, so we, we probably could try to just spruce it up a bit. But um, yeah, it, like if it's ambiguous, like sheds, I, I do building because yes for sheds. And so what I'm looking at is where the geofabric uh, office is, except it's kind of closed now, is here. And and these are buildings. I'm not actually sure. Like I don't know how to tag them. Um, oh, yeah, here's your office. Uh, build, 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 building, building, fitness. Oh, that's been, yeah. That's the good. test that John would have as you're looking there, Rory. The so that's building equals right. yes, like, right? So, <laughs> you know, there's so many building equals yes, is there? Sorry, sorry, Carol. Go ahead. Yeah, the, the test John might have is uh, have you guys ever seen in a county council estate, in a local authority housing estate? where one building was provided as a shop, usually near the entrance to the estate. And then the one of the tenants then takes a license to operate a shop for that area, because generally speaking, the council estates were built on land that commercial entities didn't want to build on. So um, then there wasn't shops nearby. So the kind of way of providing a local shop was to give one of one of the houses over to being a, a, a shop. And if we could figure out how how that's done, because John would be right, like it'd be the downstairs obviously would be the shop at street level and upstairs would be somebody's home. So um yeah, ah, yeah. I was only curious it. just for I was only curious just for for village main streets. Yeah. But um yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. But the village main streets are another one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm so what we have here, the, sorry, go ahead. I'm looking in the tagging wiki as you guys are talking. So I'm just going to look and see. I, I knew this before and I've forgotten it. So I'm going to have a look and see, can I remember it? There were some cases in Galway where in Nakhnakara, out beyond Salt Hill, 
uh, in the housing estates, there is one building with a shop downstairs. Yeah. The other thing is that if later we come to add house numbers to the buildings, at that stage we can presumably add detached, semi-detached or terraced at the same time, having walked by them. Yeah. I mean, so I'm just looking in, in cars right here. This is this is building equals yeses in the city centre, and as you can see, there's loads. Uh, and so you're kind of right. When, when you get to some of these sort of urban-y areas, ur urban-y, <laughs> um, um, villages, you know, uh, oh, yeah, there's loads. Um, it's hard to know, and I, I think just building equals yes. It's interesting what's not put in, actually, as building. This is a weird, I don't know what this, this is. For those who don't know, if you ever see Frederick Graham, just threaten him with pigeons. He likes uh, he, he likes shooting pigeons with water. Kind of like they, this. There's a weird combination of some of these being mapped as that's a cinema. Like this is cinema anyway. So yeah, buildings yes is fine. Um, more data is better data, but you know, don't don't worry about it too much. <laughs> uh. just Sorry, go ahead. Uh, just a very minor thing. Just while um, while other people, are, I'm going to have to drop off soon. But uh, I didn't know about the extrude, but I was hacking around using, like, by drawing drawing overlapping blocks, and then is it Shift J or Control Shift J mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. to merge? So I found that an interesting one as well. In case people didn't know it exists, it'll uh, remove all the internal boundaries of two boxes or yeah. seventeen boxes, whatever you've selected. Yeah, I've I've used that, and that can be helpful with the um with the the eye trick I, I said. So like if I, if I wanted to do this, and if I did like uh did this, and then I so what I can do if I can do Shift Alt Z, and I select, and then I draw a perpendicular, and then I draw like this, and I still have that building selected, and then I press I, and then I press Shift J, it merges them together. So you you can build these tools together. Uh, to um now that's probably wrong because that's uh, that should be two buildings, but um. <laughs> Yeah, it, it it would be like that. Yeah, the the um that can be useful for slightly more. I, I was doing I think um oh uh, um UCD in Dublin. There is um there is one of the buildings is it's the arts block. I went to UCD uh and it it I did that with with lots of those um buildings together. I've seen that is it'd be about here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here. Look at this building. This monstrosity. Okay, so it's all aligned funny. Uh, let's turn off the uh, the air limb. No, the other way. Uh, uh, oh, what the heck am I looking at? Yeah, there we go. So, like that building here, I did that with 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 lots of um, like each one was was separate. Like, uh, so you know, I did I did a building like along here, and then and then did another one that went like you know. Like this, and you know, and then just aligned them all together, and that was uh, that was how I did that. So yeah, there, there's times that can be very useful. Uh, and what is it? Shift Q to do the square angles. Uh, yeah, but then if you're using building tools, you you get that anyway. You do like yeah. it, it's 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 yeah. inside that anyway. Yeah. Uh, I I find I don't really need the uh, the squareify as much anymore. Um, um, just to say, uh, John, I've discovered that um, building equals house uh, as the top tag is acceptable with shop equals yes as the second tag. So that could be, I think that's what the solution I'd heard before was for there being a mixed shop and house uh, usage mm. on a building. Very good. So you can try that out. What I would say, I, I don't know, so I don't really do much data consuming of building stuff, but, you know, if you have building equals residential, like, I, I would view building equals house as a subset of, um, like, residential. So, like, if if you're not sure, like, I, I personally would, like, if you think, oh, this, this isn't one building, I don't know if it's an apartment block or how is it split or whatever, I, I would say putting building equals residential would be okay. In my opinion because you're then um yeah, you know you're, you're, yeah yeah so so uh, i would yeah dermot's there now dermot if you turn your mic on you can talk but yes 
Dermot's made a good point there, which is shop equals, and then, um, oh yeah, yeah, uh, maybe hairdresser or um, betting off betting light or licensed bookmaker or whatever is the tag, and then um, residential equals yes as well. I don't think I'm gonna see if that tag works in the opposite way where um, someone says it's a shop equals something first and then it's residential we just see if that works i mean you, you should always add if you know that there is like a shop there you should add the shop probably as a poi unless you want to get micro mapping and uh i've seen it in the indoor mapping <laughs> um but but i think i think the question is, is is less about whether you add the shop but but more about whether you um what do you tag the uh the building what's the building value i think i think the uh the the question um, if if you know there's a shop there, you should you should you should tag the shop as well. Like if it's a whatever yeah. convenience shop or cool. So we have a, an hour and twenty minutes of uh, of wonderful lesson. So I'm not sure how how busy people's evenings are at the moment. I gotta finish this square. If you want to hang on or um um yeah uh we can watch you do the end of that row of houses. I I mean I've nothing planned, so um I'm as conscious of other people may have plans and stuff and the length of the video and stuff, so uh, oh, go to the pub. Ah. <laughs> pub equals yes. Amenity equals pub. So I like Sean's uh, thing of those tiles left behind. Have fun, you know. Take pride in your work. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop. You know. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> gotta catch the ball. Yeah. You know, Pokemon Go was using a uh, OSM. Yeah, I remember there being a controversy over the they were tagging stuff that was part of the game, but not part of, but not there in real life, and there was I don't there was issues over quality of data. Yeah, I mean, people thought that if if I you know map it this way, I will get my uh, my certain kind of Pokemon here, and then it's like, God, less my my back garden is a park. It's not though, is it? <laughs> This goes out this way. That's it. Uh. So just, just to remind me to to tag them all, you would then do do what again to test all of the buildings and. What I'll probably do is I probably press Control F and I'll go type equals way. Uh, oops. Way. Oh, building. Okay, no. Uh, untagged and new, and it will select all of the new things. And these are all houses, so I'm just going to go building because house like that. Hey. Wow. That's, do do well. that again, Rory. Do that again. That's what that's <laughs> it Do that again. So what I did is uh, Control F to bring up the find search thing, and uh, I the search query I put in is that a type colon way, so it's the way. If it is untagged and if it is new, I press Enter. It then selects all of the uh, the items that match that, which is highlighted in red there. Um, and if there was something that if I had mapped a shed that I wanted to get rid of, I could press. I think it's Control, mm -hmm. and I could I could unselect and I could just check out a few. And then I can uh, I can then press Control A because I've selected many objects and I can apply a tag. I can press Control and Alt A, and uh, it add a tag and I go building this house to that. Um, what you might notice as well up here at the very top, there is a plugin called E. What's it called? Easy Easy Presets or Custom Presets? Let me just. You know, when I moved to Germany and the content of Europe. The JOSM logo for a plugin made much more sense. It's a plug. <laughs> Easy presets. I, I don't know. I just hadn't put them together. <laughs> well, a well-traveled individual before that. 
<laughs> yes, so there's a, a plugin here called Easy Presets, uh, which I've turned on. And what that does, so you have your presets here, uh, and um, you can create, so I've made a made few for like a, a rat and ring fort, a driveway, a house, and a barn. And um, what it allows you to do is, I'll, I'll demo it. If I select an object and then just press house, it adds the tags directly. So it's a one click operation. So, um, I've often wanted that. Mm -hmm. I have often wanted that. And, and that's what I said. And then I tweeted it, and someone was like, Did you know about this? I was like, Yes. Thank you, Dorothea. Um, Rory, where are we in the world? Because I saw down the bottom of your Zoom window before. You see, you see, oh, you see those bad tag alerts? No, no, no. I zoomed back in. Oh, these things. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is Cork. Land use Cork. residential. What are you doing there? This is... Ten, ten Grange Terrace. Okay, no, I'll, 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 I'll sort that. Don't, uh, don't you worry about that. Um, this is my task. It is locked to me. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to touch the buildings. I just want to look at those nodes. Oh, okay. So someone's just uh, done a very simplistic way of doing it. Can I can I pause you for a moment while I um I visit the um uh facilities? We might just say good night. Oh okay. Oh yeah, that that would yeah, work too. Just well. an hour, you know. And uh, thanks for hosting there, Rory. Okay. No problem. Yeah, so just great. for the record, if you use the big blue button thing, you can use it. Just create an account. You get a home room like this. The shared notes does go away when you close the window. So uh, copy and paste that somewhere because this happened before. This is why we don't have some notes. Um, yes. Okay. Well, then um, I'll, I'll finish off this task. Well, I'm going to pop out now and... Um, uh, yeah, and uh, keep mapping. Yeah, and uh, one final thing, we have a number of events coming up uh, shortly. We I will be updating the blog and Reddit to keep everybody informed with the times and the links. So hopefully we'll see you for some more events during this week. Thank you very much for coming here. Go team. Bye. Yeah, thanks, Rory. Bye. Well done, thank Good you.